Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a 650 cost space match here using the Vogule. And yeah, I wanted to get a match with the Vogule at some point. It's one of those suits I've been meaning to get a match with for a while now. And well, what the fire that I was able to get a space match with it. And uh, yeah, this is going to be again a 650 cost match. The Vogule is a 650 to 700 cost raid, and it's one of my favorite suits to play at the higher level. I believe when I first got it, I think it was the 700 one, which is the one I was able to get, and that's still my preferred version to play. Um, I'd say when it comes to 700, the suit probably is my main raid that I use at that cost, and I do a lot better with it at 700 as well, surprisingly. But uh, 650, it's not really a bad suit either. You do have some nice things going for it. Uh, you do have a beam shot rifle as your main weapon. And this pretty much operates off the same basis as the Sazabi. Where if you do an uncharged shot, it will operate like a shotgun. And then if you do a charged shot, it will act like a normal instant stun beam. Now I do like this beam rifle over that of the Sazabi's shot rifle because this one seems like it's a bit more consistent when it comes to the um, shotgun like blast if you just do the uncharged shots. The Sazabi's has always felt very inconsistent like you'll either get a stun or you won't and most of the time it always felt like it was a won't situation. So that's why I do like um, this weapon a lot better in comparison to that one. Uh, you have a like Beam Saber Tomahawk as your main melee weapon. And yeah, it's a pretty decent uh, melee weapon. You do have three swings with it. You have the Butterfly Edge. Those are the throwable melee weapon that you have with the suits. Which is very nice because you can control where they are going. And then they also break through like maneuver armor and things like that. So if somebody is trying to boost at you and you need to, you know, stop them in their tracks, you can try to use these to stop them. You do have to stop to throw them though, so that is something you do want to be cautious of. You have two different pairs of funnels. You do have lock-on funnels which fire uh, one blast before they return to you. And then you have your follow funnels which... Um, operate like most follow funnels, you can rapid fire them, and then you can use them while boosting and things of the sorts. And then finally you have a grenade launcher attached to the beam rifle, and that is just a nice um, little extra instant stun weapon that you can use. And yeah, I think overall it's a pretty solid um, loadout for what the Vogula is kind of going for here really kind of makes it a bit more like a, almost feel like it's almost more like a standard suit than like a necessarily a raid. You can kind of do a bit more with it than have to focus on raid things. Kind of like the, how I feel like about the Jim Quell almost. That's another suit where I feel like you really don't have to play it like a raid. But if you do catch the support though, you will be able to do some uh, really good damage with it. Especially again since the Butterfly Edge is considered a melee weapon. So if you do have a support that is, you know, has like low melee defense, then you can use that to your advantage. This is also really nice for 700 as well, because um, suits like the new Gundam, or the I think the high new as well, I'm assuming the shield for that, operates the same way with the funnel shield. So the new Gundam is kind of unique with its shield type, where it doesn't block melee attacks, the funnel shield will only block ranged um, like weapons like ballistic and beams. So if you use the butterfly edge, and this also works for the moon Gundam as well, if you use that, you can hit the new Gundam, it will go right through the barrier, and then you can get all the damage off on it. So the suit definitely does have that utility going for it as well. And just overall, yeah, I think it's a pretty nice suit. I'm trying to repair here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have much time to get much repairs in. So I'm just going to try to move in and see what I can do. Uh, looks like we do have some higher health teammates though, and we do have a pretty decent lead as well. So I do believe that, you know, if I die here, I'm not going to really be too much of a detriment here. I'll be able to spawn in with a fresh suit, which uh, is probably going to be a benefit to us in the long run. Try to see if I could tackle what looked like the um, Zeta Gundam A3 there. 
Uh, I'm going to assume that's what that is because uh, that suit is still very popular. I believe I said that in the last 650 um, based video I made. Uh, yeah, that suit's going to be in the meta for a pretty long while. Yeah, Zeta Gundam 3A type is still a very popular suit to use at 650. Uh, I don't know if I've seen any um, used at 700 yet in like quick matches where you can like bring lower cost suits in. I may have seen one, I don't exactly remember. But looks like our team has been wiped out at the moment. But we do control our half of the map in terms of points. Though the enemy team is moving in so we do want to be careful here. Uh, looks like an enemy might be trying to go for the base, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to spawn in here at point D, which seems like this is where most of the rest of the team decided to spawn as well. Uh, there's a game Gamulk, that's going to be a pretty nice target for me. And I'm trying to finish him off here and see if I can go for the butterfly. Looks like a teammate was able to finish him off before I could. So I'm going to try to go and do a um, deal with this. Um, DJ Traversia here. Was able to land the butterfly edge. And trying to move in with the shotgun. And blocking some of the rounds from my B team Jester there unfortunately. But uh, looks like they were able to get the finishing blow off. And I'm going to put a thanks in the chat as well just for the extra help there. And it looks like yep, they're going to try to take the points. And looks like they may have claimed it back for us. Also looks like there was a bomb at our base but a uh, teammate was able to defuse it. Uh, right now we do have double the score of the enemy team, so um, yeah, still holding a pretty good lead um, here, and we are nearing the last minute as well. Uh, there is something with a charge beam, looks like it's going to be the um, Zeta Gundam A3. And I'm going to try to see if I can boost back a bit, I'm trying not to get too much in the way of my teammates here. Uh, the Game Hulk is going to make the mistake of trying to fly out um, here into the open. When the rest of its, its team was still trying to take cover, so uh, not really the best move there because that's going to let me finish him off and well, it's going to allow me to deal with the Zeta Gundam here. And right now I'm just trying to <laughs> try to see if I can get back as much as possible, trying not to get hit by any of its melee there. Uh, looks like most of the swings are missing though, so I'm going to be able to go in for a downswing and try to go in for a few more uh, neutral and side swings there. See if I can help finish off this Traversia. I uh, was able to get the points, but unfortunately it looks like the, what I think was the B team Jester, did get destroyed as well. But the Zeta Gundam A1 is falling back, and we are nearing the last few seconds, so it uh, looks like we are going to have this win in the bag here. And that's going to be timeout mission over. We got some good works going on. We got one, we did it in there as well. And let's see how we did here with the Vogule. Uh, mission completed. And looks like top in assist and top in damage dealt. And second place so far with three kills and one loss. Not too shabby there. Gonna send... I should not look like a sense of praise. May have thought about it, but... I uh, may have cancelled it too quickly, but... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this match here in the Vogule. Yeah, again, really fun suit. One that I still like to play. Uh, hopefully I can get a 700 cost match in it one day. Because I mentioned at the beginning that is the cost where I feel a lot more comfortable using it. I think mainly because I've had that one for longer. So I am more used to playing it at that cost. But uh, yeah, 650 version also is not bad either. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video here. Comment down below what you think about the Vogule. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.